Curdy Cool is talking about the scammer, scammer, scammer. The scammer. Who the scammer? Trisha Robinson know exactly what I'm talking about. The worst baby scammer out in Moreno Valley, California. The scammer, scammer. Who the scammer? I'm talking about this grandmother baby scammer. Patricia Ann Robinson. That crazy old adopted grandma, yeah, has been scamming for 17 long years. She will not come back to the real. That is one crazy ass grandma, y'all. But I keep on exposing this raggedy ass Patricia Robinson with that raggedy lifestyle. This is exactly what she want and need. She don't try to come clean. She don't try to fix it. She just continue on running and hiding out, y'all. Won't let Curdy Cool have no kind of contact with his own daughter. So I keep on exposing this scammer, a scammer, scammer. Who the scammer? <laughs> that ugly Patricia Robinson. <laughs> hey, y'all, I'm out here telling my honest to God true story. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Please share my story, please. I'm out here for 17 long years. This crazy old adopted grandma screwed it all up, y'all. But I just keep on exposing. So with the help of you guys, please help me to continue on to put this crazy adopted grandma back into the spotlight. Help me to keep on exposing her. I mean, this stuff is not right, y'all. This crazy... Adopted grandma is collecting child support, abusing the system, collecting child support, mess up the adopted daughter, which is my baby's mother, mess her up just to collect SSI and child support. So Patricia Robinson has taken total control and advantage over everybody y'all so she runs and hide out she avoids curdy cool that narcissist is so cold blooded y'all so I continue on exposing this narcissist Patricia Robson that is exactly what she is a stone cold adopted grandma y'all who don't have any empathy or no sympathy her life is based around a lie and one day, all of that stuff is going to come tumbling down. Don't expect to just continue on using people, misusing people, abusing people, and it don't catch up with, with you. By all means, it will catch up with, with you. So I continue on sharing my true story to the world and telling it just the way it is. This big, ugly scammer out in Moreno Valley, California. Y'all understand what I'm saying? This woman do not give a damn about humane, y'all. She don't care about who she hurt, who she mess up. She don't care about what she does to my my, my daughter. She damn sure don't, don't care about her adopted daughter. A white woman adopted black people Messed them all up in the mind just to collect SSI and child support. And now she is showing her true colors. She don't know how to act, y'all. So she take advantage of everybody. So this Patricia Robinson has, has taken all these people's mind and to all these people who are surrounded by this crazy, wicked witch is supporting them all that crazy stuff that she is doing to a good father out here. Well, it speaks for itself. These people never had their real true blood fathers because Patricia Robinson did not do anything to help them find their true fathers. 
She is doing exactly what she always do, and that is totally destroy all of these people connections so that they won't have any type of connections with their true blood fathers. This is so sad, y'all. This woman has taken advantage of all these people inside of that cold home. And now she does this to my 17-year-old daughter, turn her against her father, mess her all up, y'all, run and hide out. Trisha Robinson is the worst baby scammer out there in Moreno Valley, California. The scammer, scammer, scammer. Who the scammer? I'm talking about this baby scammer. Patricia Robinson, Patricia Marshall Robinson, Marsha V. Robinson, Pat Robinson, Mark Robinson. I mean, this woman got so many alias names. This is all she do, y'all. Is run and hide out and try to beat the system. Run and hide out, scam folks, mess up with people. Got liens, lawsuits. You know what I mean? Do not want to come back to the clean. Just keep running and hiding out. That is a cold-blooded narcissist, yo. That Patricia Robinson is a cold-blooded narcissist. So now 17 years go by, she never make the attempt to correct her bad habits, her bad ways. So Curdy Cool just keep on putting her out here in the spotlight. I appreciate the world for you guys tuning in to my true story. You guys please share, subscribe, hit my bell. Tell all your friends, your family, Share my true story. I needed to get out here more and more and more each day. This stuff needs to be talked about more and more each day. That Patricia Robinson is a crazy ass adopted grandma, yo. Until now, it's to the point she have scammed and abused and misused people with all that narcissist abuse. Until you can see all of this stuff all over her face, y'all. You can see it all in, in her eyes. This woman is cold-blooded, y'all. So, I keep on exposing. This is what she wants. She wants her medicine. Curdy Cool just kindly keep putting Patricia Robinson back into her big, ugly, raggedy-ass drawers. I mean, she messed with the wrong man. I mean, what do you expect? You scam a father for 17 years, abusing the system, running and hiding out, looking like a wicked witch. That is exactly what she is, a big old ugly, wicked witch. Trisha Robinson has been exposed all around the world, all in the world, all under, under the world. I mean, all, all she can do now at this point is hide that ugliness, run out and hide up and try to look like an Ethiopian with a head covered up. <laughs> but see, some people, they create the blueprint for their own doggish lifestyle. When you don't try to make things better, you continue on doing you, messing over good people, Y'all know what I'm saying? So, the Ralph come back around on you, Patricia Robinson. There's a whole lot of people out here that's going through exactly the same thing, y'all. You guys stand up. Fight for your rights. Share your true stories. Talk about this stuff, y'all. Don't let these crazy people get away with this stuff. My daughter is 17 years old. I would recommend that she write her true story, y'all. My daughter can write a book about how they did her inside of that cult home, y'all. Tell your story. I don't care what she says. Once my daughter turns 18, I would tell my story. I would write my book. And I would put it out there and talk about how that woman abused my daughter, y'all. 
traumatized her, kept her away, y'all, all those years because of selfishness, bitterness, and hate. I mean, I would talk about that, y'all, because this is something that is going to stay with my daughter for the rest of her life, y'all. I don't know how badly that she is going to be affected by this, this crazy old narcissist upbringing by Patricia Robinson. I just pray and hope for the best that she can snap out of this. But most of the time, it's going to be a whole lot of trauma and a whole lot of bad experience just to flash back to think about all that crazy stuff that 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 Patricia Robinson did to my daughter and maliciously kept her away from her own blood father. I know that messed with her mind for a long, long time. How could that wicked witch do something like this to my daughter, yo? And that would be something that I would never forget. How could you do this to me? How could you do this to my good loving blood father? I only I only have one father and you do this to me. But see that wicked Patricia Robinson was so messed up in her mind. She got messed around when she was a kid. She is taking all this stuff out on my daughter and that crazy baby mother. So the baby mother let her do it. She was a part of the conspiracy. She, she felt like she got sucked into it. Simple fact, because Patricia Robinson made her look crazy just to collect SSI. But now, Patricia Robinson was trafficking this, this grown-ass woman years ago, y'all. Had this woman, this grown-ass woman, into relationships, setting up different relationships, with men out here in the world, y'all. Now, why did she do that, y'all? Just a crazy-ass adopted grandma, y'all, who did not care about nobody but just herself. Tricia Robinson, I will continue on exposing you. And I pray that my daughter, Alexa, she grew up and she see you for who you are. She see you that you ain't no good. I mean, looking back how you destroyed her life. Her father was out here for years, 17, 18 long years, reaching out, and you never came back to the real. You continue on doing you with all that bitterness and that hatefulness because you are so insecure. Patricia Robinson was so insecure, yeah. She felt like that if I would talk to my daughter with well, that baby mother was going to want to talk with me. And she was thinking in the back of her mind that that baby mother was going to leave her crazy ass. Hey, that that is over with, y'all. Once somebody does that to you, like the situation with that baby mother, what she did to me, y'all, I could never see myself, never, ever, doing nothing with that baby mother. She was that weak and destroyed it all, y'all. Yeah. No way, Jose. So, my daughter would have to understand this, that she was brought up into a corrupt narcissist family, that she had no idea about what was going to happen. She was brought into a crazy narcissist family. I'm talking about all these crazy people. It is what it is. It's just like I see it for what it is, my daughter is going to have to grow up and see it for what it is. This is not her father's fault, y'all. This is this crazy adopted grandma with that baby mother and all those other extended crazy people inside of that cold home who destroyed my daughter's life, her connections, because they was all a part of this cult, y'all. And they all was doing everything in their power to try to bring Curdy Cool down. Just for standing up to be a father, y'all. Because I wasn't a weak-minded man. I wanted the best for my daughter, y'all. 
I wanted to give her everything because I knew exactly how to do it. You know, I'm a, I am a mature father. The baby mother is, is much younger, but that was a bad mistake on my end for, for letting that Patricia Robinson suck me into getting with that immature baby mother, y'all. I mean, that woman couldn't cook. She couldn't do nothing. She didn't know how to do a damn thing, y'all. But who around? So this is all Patricia Robinson taught this baby mother what to do and how to live her life like this is what life is all about, this California wild, freaky-ass lifestyle out here, y'all. Don't get my, my daughter caught up in that mess. That crazy-ass California... All that crazy lifestyle out there. I always wanted to see her get an education. Make something out of herself. Be somebody. Don't let nobody control her mind like she's a puppet on a string. And just messing over her. I wanted to see more and better for my daughter. I don't want to hear nothing about she coming up pregnant at 17, 18 years old. She need to get an education. Because... I'm telling you, being out there in California, all that crazy ass wild lifestyle out there, that crazy ass baby mother and that crazy ass adopted grandma, y'all, is going to get my daughter sold out into that world out there. And she's going to be all messed up just like they are. Now, they have hid out on Curtie Cool for 17 years, keeping, forcefully, keeping my daughter away to not communicate with her own blood father because they knew her blood father was standing up for, for what is right out here, was standing up to see that she had the best and to help mold her all along the way. Now imagine growing up and you didn't, you couldn't even have your own blood father forcefully because a crazy adopted grandma destroyed it all. Now you living inside of a cult home with a crazy adopted grandma who totally taken your mother's mind, messed her up just for SSI. So, so now it's manipulating you. Between the two of them manipulating you, they want to bring you down, traumatize you so that you would be in the same shoe step, foot step as them. Wicked and evil messing over people. So yeah, I just only wanted the best for my daughter. I don't know how she's going to turn out. But once she turned 18, she is really on her own. I feel personally that my daughter should at least try to reach out some type of way during those years. I mean, they stole all the baby years away from me, y'all. I mean, this crazy old adopted grandma, sorry to say, in that low life baby mother, y'all, they stole all the baby years away from Curdy Cool, y'all. They would not let me say hello. I never got a happy birthday, happy Father's Day, Dad. I mean, these some cold-blooded people, y'all. And I talk about it, and I expose these crazy people because it is what it is. And hopefully I, I could be a light to, to other, other guys out here to not get involved with this family, y'all, because they are not right. They totally mess over people and, and destroy their lives. And don't mess around and get a baby involved. They would totally destroy your life. I'm talking about this Patricia Robinson, this Veronica Robinson, and that cult family. All these people attacked it. Curdy cool, y'all, for being a father right after the baby came into the world, y'all. That is something. If I was my daughter, I would never forget about that, y'all. Never, never, never. You took away something very special special to me that needed to be in my life to help mold me to be a better person in my life and you totally take it all away because all these crazy people did not have 
their blood fathers because of what Patricia Robinson did to them. She kept all the people away from their blood fathers. These people, this Veronica, this Veronica Robinson, 36 years old, they don't, they don't even talk about trying to find her blood father. That Marcus Robinson, about 44, 45 years old, did him the same way. That Amanda Road all messed up. All these people inside of this co home, yo, attacking Curdy Cool to, to try and bring Curdy Cool down to their level because they wanted to try and break me down. But they could not break Curdy Cool down. And like I told them, fools, I am a child of the king. And don't you forget it. So you guys stand up for your rights, fight for your rights. God is the greatest. God is in control. And don't let no bad day tamper with your mind and break you down and put you back behind in time. You know what I mean? Have you depended on them? Have you forever in a, in a cult mentality mind that you have to be controlled and manipulated like you are a puppet on a string? Don't let nobody do that to you. Stand up for yourself. See life for what it is. Face reality. Know what you want in life. They stole my daughter away from her own father, y'all. Patricia Robinson and that baby mother is like Grinch, the Grinch who stole Christmas, y'all. That's what those people was, was, was like, y'all. Like Grinch, the Grinch who stole Christmas, just stole my daughter's father away from her. Smooth and cool and act like life is nothing. Didn't care about humane, didn't care about the abuse, didn't care about the hurt and the pain. They did not care about anything, yeah. It was all about the narcissist. Between that narcissist cult family and what they can get out of it. But in the end, God is in control. What you dish out is what you will get back. And hopefully my daughter won't follow those same footsteps. Because that lifestyle that Patricia Robinson bestowed on my daughter, she don't even have a father figure. You know, you know imagine growing up without your blood father or without a father, y'all, who who can set the groundwork and set good examples the way it should be with a man, with a father, growing up and teaching you everything that you needed to know for as from a father figure. These cold-blooded people, y'all, stripped my daughter down, took it all away, ran and hid out like a bunch of cowards. Now, how low life can these cows be in get, y'all? Soon after my, my new baby was into the world, y'all, that whole cult family, y'all, Patricia Robinson got her cult best girlfriend and her family involved into the relationship. They was all in on it together. That, that best friend, y'all, was calling Curdy Cool cursing me out for no reason at all about my own newborn baby, y'all. I'm talking about that best, y'all. And now this woman was married to a black man, a white woman married to a black man, had two or three sons. They were standing up, facing reality and taking care of their kids as a father and a wife. But yet and still, they are trying to strip and break Curdy Cool down because they was all a part of this cult organization right along with, with Patricia Robinson, y'all. All these people was fighting against Curdy Cool, y'all. And I stood my ground, hey, hey look, I'm, I'm standing up to be a father. I'm not committing no crime out here. I'm inside of the hospital trying to represent. I didn't run for him from anything, y'all. I stood up and I was a man, a real man. And this is what my story is about, being a real man, a real father. 
I did not run away from anything. I didn't care about being on child support. I stood up and was a real father. What did they do? They was a joke, some joke ass people running a Mickey Mouse cult home. And Patricia Robinson dug them all out. Now who the scammer? Who the scammer, y'all? The scammer, scammer. Trish Robinson is the worst baby scammer, y'all, out there in Marino Valley, California. Yeah, that is the worst scammer out there in Marino Valley, California, Riverside, California. That woman have no feelings toward nobody, y'all. It's all about dog Patricia Robinson. It is what it is, baby. Kurt Cool, kindly keep on telling this true story. You guys, please help support my channel, my page, my story, my unfiltered true story, yo. I'm out here telling it from my heart. You guys, please, please share my true story. Tell all your friends to tune in and listen to Curtie Cool's true story coming from a real man who did everything possible and wanted to be a father. And you had wicked witches who wanted to destroy it all, who wanted it all to themselves. They got the child support. They messed up the baby mother and got the SSI, had the best friend involved. The fake pastor was all inside the hospital. Everybody, a fake, what, um, foster daughter Patricia Robinson had inside of the home. All these people were messed up in the mind. They was twisted, y'all. They did not know right from wrong but call themselves Christians. Lost, they was lost, y'all. All of them was lost. All these people inside that cult home was lost. Sheep in wool clothing, y'all. Pretending to be something that they was not. See, when you get traumatized so bad in your life coming up, and you was not really taught the truth, and this crazy ass Patricia Robson, Pull the wool over your eyes and you could not see the truth. You got caught up in all that BS lifestyle until you grew up thinking this is the way it should be. Hurting people, messing up with people, destroying folks' lives, and not having any feelings about what you do to people, not having any regards for a human remain. See, these narcissist people is on a pattern of things they continue on and they, they, they want to continue on to pass on like a baton. They think that they want to pass it on to the next generation with all this craziness and all this even this bitterness and just destroying folks' lives and messing up people, yo. I can't let you put Patricia Robinson back into her big mama raggedy head draw. That wicked witch. She run and hide out. But let her run and hide out. But she is looking stupid because Curdy Cool got her all over the internet. I didn't do it to her. She did it to herself. You tried to make mess over a good man. I am a child of, of, of the king who stood up to do the right thing. This is what life is all about. Standing up, facing reality, doing the right thing, and setting a good example for the next generation. Do you have that to show, Patricia Robinson? No way, Jose. You can't, you can't teach nobody nothing but destroy their lives and mess up their family hood and try to strip them down from the blood. Strip them down and turn their name to mud. That is what's up with Patricia Robinson. And... Curdy Cool just bust her bubble, y'all. I tell it like it is. I'm schooling this ugly woman, y'all. It is what it is. I am putting this ugliness with this Patricia Robinson back into the spotlight like I always said. I put her back into her big mama raggedy ass draw. With that raggedy lifestyle. That jack in the box Mickey Mouse lifestyle. Hey, y'all. Curdy Cool out here. 
I tell it like it is. This woman has pushed the wrong button, y'all. A man standing up being a man and a father? And you and you destroy everything? She go she go and make fake false claims with the DNA when Curtis Cool is in Houston, Texas. They, they are in California. That Mickey Mouse woman, y'all, so corrupt in her mind. Is that all you want? Just child support, SSI, and oh, I got I got I got a daughter now. I can run and hide out now. Shit, my life is beautiful. Shit, I got it all. But you don't know how my daughter feel deep down inside knowing that you destroyed her life and her connection with her father. You do not know how my daughter feel deep down inside, baby. She might be going along with you all along. And one day, once she turn 18, I done had enough of this shit. You might not never see my daughter around that cold home again. You never know. Certain people, y'all, destroy people's lives out here. It's like a turn off once people grow up and knowing, knowing people did that maliciously and then can look back all over the internet and people is talking about this stuff. Hey, look, look, look. Begging and, hey, look, I, I want to be a part. I want to know how, how, how this is going on. I want to know about school. I want to know about this and I want to know. Or she making good grades? Or she making something out of herself? I want to know. They didn't let me know anything, y'all. They just showed their true colors, y'all, and turned on Curtis Cool and hid it out. I mean, they are the worst of the worst, y'all. Out there in Moreno Valley, California, y'all. The worst of the worst scammers out there in Moreno Valley, California, Riverside, California. I keep on telling it like it is. I mean, that woman did not have to do me like that. But, but because of insecurity, jealousy, bitterness, hatefulness, evilness, wickedness, she thought that baby mother was going to run off and leave her ugly ass. <laughs> and that baby mother fell right into that trap with that wicked witch. Adopted grandma because she had already set up for SSI, yo. She already got her in, in, in the trap. In, in the trap. She put her into a big old fat mouse trap, set her up, and locked the trap on her ass. <laughs> so the baby mother fell for the bait, fell into the trap, and got messed around. So now she, they, they, they think that they're going to do this to my daughter, but my daughter's wise enough, smart enough, because she have Curtis Cool's blood. Like I always said, blood is thicker than mud. So that is what's up. You might have pulled all this stuff. When my daughter was younger, could not help herself. But when a person grows up, they can get a total different viewpoint of what's going on out here. Damn, you messed me up. You messed me around maliciously. You scammed me. You took a you took a very important part of me away that should have been, and you took it all away. Now, what makes you think that I am going to trust you, be able to trust you when I grow up and have kids and leave my kids around you, knowing what you did to me? That would be very complicated and very difficult. For me to want to deal with a crazy ass woman like Patricia Robinson, yo. That's a dog adopted grandma. The scammer, who the scammer? The scammer, scammer, who the scammer? That Patricia Robinson, yo. She ain't right. Hey, y'all, Kurt Cool, I'm gonna end this show. I appreciate you guys. Please like, share, subscribe. I'm just out here telling my true story. I'll see you guys in the next episode. I got a whole lot more to talk about. Hit the bell, baby. Subscribe. And share. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in and listening. Y'all stay blessed. Be happy. Full of peace. Love and happiness. Okay, bye.